Hey, what's up guys? Calum or Calum's Fish Tanks and in today's video we're in front of my brother's 11 gallon tank and today we're actually going to start working on it. So I don't know really where I'm going to go with it so in this video I'm going to try to figure that out. I'm trying to clean up the tank as best as possible, the filter, all the algae, all that stuff. See what plants are salvageable so stick around for the ride. So here is a top down shot. You can see all the scum on the surface of the water. Now I'm probably going to move my skim onto this tank to clean it up. Um, I don't know how much of this Rotala is salvageable. As you can see he also has duckweed in here so I'll be able to get rid of that. And the filter also needs a clean. It's looking like it's hurting quite a bit. Um, so first off I'm probably going to um, clean the glass, the filter and then do a water change. So to clean the glass, we're going to be using two tools. Uh, this toothbrush for the harder water stains near the surface of the water, as well as a razor blade for getting off those really tough algaes that have been stuck on there for a while, which they definitely have been in this tank. So let's get started. So you can probably see the water stains all over the surface of the glass around this area. So what I'm just going to do is put a little bit of water on and give them a really good scrub. Now that should get rid of them. Some of these some of these are on the outside, so I'm going to have to clean the glass after this, but just give it a really good scrub and that should get rid of all the hard water stains. So I'll get back to you guys once I've cleaned these up. So just a toothbrush and a little bit of glass cleaner for the outside has already made such a big difference on the glass itself. Now I do need to go in here with a towel and clean up all this water because that's just water that's making those uh, marks. So yeah, now on to scraping some of the algae out. So when it comes to scraping glass, I like to go slow and steady to make sure I don't miss any spots. Just go down nice and slow so you make sure you get rid of all of it. And then try to go in straight lines. Try to keep your strokes straight so that you're not uh, leaving streaks of algae behind. So this is a time-consuming process usually. You just want to take your time to make sure you can get your glass as clean as possible. So here's what the tank is currently looking like. I got rid of almost all the algae on the front glass as well as uh, this side panel here. But the plants at the top are so dense I can't really get to the back as well as part of this side. So I'm probably going to trim them back and throw them all out because the bottoms are all dead. And these are plants I have lots extra of that I can fill in the tank with um, after I've done hardscaping it. So right now I'm going to start trimming those and then I'm going to be able to continue scraping the glass. Before we get started though I'm going to take out the pieces of wood and move them into a bucket so they're out of my way as well as um, the little grates you see in the tank. This one has some Anubias on it so I'm gonna have to uh, remember to spray it while I'm working on this. Jeez, He's got some dirty substrate. That's good for plants though. So I think he has a lot of shrimp in here so while I'm trimming I'm going to uh, cut slowly so they have a fighting chance to uh, see the blades coming and be able to just get out of the way before they get chopped. So I'm just going to trim up all the plants and then I will remove them all and then I'll go back in and uh, remove the bases of the stems maybe some other day because I'm going to be cleaning the filter today and I don't want to disturb uh, the substrate too much. Because if I do, I could cause the tank to recycle, and that would be a pretty big problem. Especially with all the fish he has in here. But I'm going to trim all these up, and then show you guys the tank soon. So the tank right now is looking like a complete mess, but I got the hardscape out of the way, as well as all those plants, so I can get to scraping off any algae on the glass that's still there, as well as using the hardscape elements to kind of plan where I want to go with this scape and then I'm going to drain the water and clean the filter and fill it back up and uh, yeah we'll continue on from there. So I've drained the tank quite a bit at this point and now I'm going to clean the canister filter. Now I have a video all about how to clean canister filters so I'll put a link up in 
uh, this top corner up here. So make sure you guys go check it out if you do not know how to clean a canister filter. So this is where we're at for now. Now it's nothing special, tank is still a mess, but for now this is good. It's a lot better than it was before. The filters are actually flowing now, so that should help get rid of all of that surface scum at the top. Um, the plants should do better now. I know a lot were getting shaded out like this java fern in the bottom corner here was getting shaded out by all that rotala and stuff. But this is just kind of a starting point and then hopefully soon I'll be able to do a full rescape with um, a bit more hardscape and more plants of course because it is super empty. But anyways guys that about does it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. This was Calum's Fish Tanks. Peace.